And good morning, or good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> and almost evening. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Hold the applause. Stay seated. Stay out oh, there. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to have some fun today uh, because uh, be we decided to do something that uh, Marco and I decided to do. And we said, you don't have to go anywhere, Marco. Just stay there. If you have someone that allow you to, um, uh, someone will allow you to play on their instrument, that'd be great. So we got to thank uh, whoever you're, whoever's house you're at right now. His name thank is them Dan. very much. His name is Dan Mont. Dan? Yeah. D-A-N. He's, He's very busy over there. All right, Dan. Thank you so much. We appreciate <laughs> that. Uh, and everybody else online is going to appreciate it uh, by the time we're done. We've got a great showcase for you today. So um, we are, um, uh, I'm not going to do much more talking. I'll do a lot of talking throughout the show. I think what I like to do is uh, have Marco get started and do an opening number. And let me change the camera view here. And three... Two, one, take it away, Marco Mendez. Okay, take two. <laughs> and take it away, Marco Mendez. got it right that time all right folks I turned on my mic too so hopefully my mic is okay but we're gonna have a lot of fun today because we're gonna show you some things that you may have seen in the past you may not have seen in the past uh, and if you have just pretend you never saw it and you're seeing it for the first time but there are gonna be some things that you haven't but what we are playing on we we, we mentioned that um, this model uh, we were gonna show off some of our favorite models that was uh, very huge and influ influential throughout the history. And um, as you know, Marco Mendez is actually sitting at a Lowry Prestige. And let me switch back over to him so you could show, see that there. Let's see, boop. Put your hand on the organ like Vanna White now, Marco. Look at that, ooh, and see that beautiful cabinet? Well, I'll do a little better here. I'll do a little bit of this for you. So we are going to actually mention a little bit about the Prestige and the Prestige Plus as well. And as you can see when he was sitting there, it's actually a gorgeous cabinet. This was the first time they took a flagship model and kept this, the overall size of the cabinet very similar, but they lowered the, um, they lowered the overall height by two inches, believe it or not. Uh, there was a lot of things done with that. And then there was... Um, well, the, the lighting changed, they removed, they moved all of the buttons from one location to the other, the tabs on top. There was a lot of great things that happened when this model came out. 
Uh, this bench that was introduced was a very well-loved bench. It opened up on each side. You could put your CDs in because it was the first time that we had an organ with a CD. You remember that? <laughs> oh, we're bringing back some memories here. They might want to buy this organ again just to relive the experience. <laughs> uh, and, of course, there's another shot at it. And what was also very impressive when this model was introduced was the speaker system. <laughs> the wide range of speakers from the tweeters to the high range to the mid range, the subwoofer. It was just absolutely phenomenal. We're not going to be able to show everything that I wanted to today, but uh, there's, this was a very influential feature that was uh, on all the subsequent flagship models, the Virtuoso, which was a great way to do arpeggios and you could do a little improvisation. So a lot of cool things in this, um, in this instrument here. Um, and then of course, most, most importantly, whenever a new model came out, they had all these great new styles. Now, we're going to play them all in 30 minutes. So Marco's got to play really fast. <laughs> Just kidding. <Fine. laughs> so we have, no, there are a lot of great signature styles, all these wonderful styles that were introduced that people just absolutely love. You're going to hear some today, plus some extra little goodies. But the Prestige Plus introduced on top of that a lot of other new styles from our flagship models. Now, speaking of new styles, I'm going to ask Marco to play. Uh, 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 this was a great style that came out, and a lot of people fell in love with it. It was under the contemporary category. It's a little Barry Manilow with Can't Smile Without You. The style is called Barry Can't Smile. I'd really like that one, Marco. But you know what? There is a lot of styles that, you know, in all these new signature styles, and we play a lot of these great classics, but you know what? You know what's around the corner, believe it or not, not that long, not that far away, is Christmas. We're going to, pretty soon it'll be, it'll be here before you know it. And I always tell students, don't wait till November, mid-November, don't wait till November to pull out all that crisp music and start to learn the songs. I've had a lot of students say I waited too long and by the time I finally felt comfortable playing those songs, I had to, <laughs> it was gone already, yeah. So pull it out now, start getting warmed up on it. But one of the styles that I've asked Marco to play on the Prestige, um, years ago, there was a style that was introduced called sleigh bells. Marco, you probably remember that, Joni. And it was introduced on the Citation. And boy, we, we, we went bazonkers. Wow, this is so great. Well, after about 20 years of that, it was like, it's time for something new. So when the Prestige was introduced, they introduced a new style here. It was, it was called Jingle Jangle. It's such a great style because it's easy to follow as well. So Marco, Jingle Jangle, and let's see what he's going to play here.
Also action in there, huh? Ooh. <laughs> well, you know, Marco, um, I've been, well, let's see, I've been in Fletcher Music since 1993. Uh, so that's what, over 30 years now? 30 years. Marco's been in the music industry a little longer than I have. I think Joni, same thing. We've all been in the industry a long time. And over the years, we co always couldn't wait for a new uh, organ to come out. Sometimes it was just because we wanted to experience new styles. Um, and um, that was, that's the exciting part about it. You get these new styles. You can play some of the songs you've used to playing. And, you know, unfortunately, these days, we don't have as many new organs just coming out everywhere. <laughs> Uh, and so we have to get a little creative. Well, when I say we, I, it means I don't have to get creative. I have to just point the finger and say, Marco, do something about this. So in a minute, I'm going to show you something. But as you all know, when the Prestige was introduced, this was the first time we actually introduced the, the USB on an organ. And... That was a pretty big deal and still is to this day. <clears throat> the USB is such a powerful tool. And actually, I've been teaching that a lot in classes lately. It's a way of getting presets and setups and sounds. You save something. You don't have to lose it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, Marco took that a step further. And he decided that uh, he wanted to take a lot of the styles and make them even more exciting. So. You're looking at a list there that says Famous Styles by Marco Mendez. Now, you'll see this is Bossa Nova and Slow Swing and Slow Country and so forth. Some of those styles sound like something that's labeled on the instrument. But what's different is what he's done with these styles. And every one of these, there's 10 presets. Uh-oh, a typo, 10 preset <laughs> for every style. That means there's 400 setups for every one of those that you see. Now, I don't know how he's going to pull this off in 20 minutes, but you got to play all 400, Marco. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but he's going to show off a couple of his favorites or my favorites. I said, can you do this one? And so, Marco, let's hear a couple of examples. What's the first one you're going to do for us? It's called music. Uh, movie ballad? Movie ballad, yeah. Here we go.
is beautiful. <laughs> you have another one for us you could show off? I was looking at that list. I saw one that said romantic, ba uh, romantic Latin. You're talking, but we can't hear you. Turn on your mic, please. Screen, it says romantic Latin, so I just push it, hit all of them, and then I can play any Latin songs which sounds romantic. Here we go. I wish I had those presets so I can play. <laughs> He's going to make me pay for them. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I noticed in one of the setups, Marco, um, I think from what I could tell, you had a harmony on in there, right? I did. Yeah. So, so the harmonies are kind of impressive because, you know, as many of you know, on the top of the line models, there are 15 different harmonies, uh, sometimes more in some of the other models that have come out. And when the prestige was introduced down there, here's another little glance at that list of this famous styles so before i go on there's so many great styles that he's redone with 10 different setups but on the note of harmonies this was a major breakthrough and you'll see there it says harmony upper and lower they what they did for the first time was they introduced it says aoc do a three part when you select the more the other 12 harmonies show up and so that's 15 harmonies. So it was the first time they gave us harmonies for the upper and the lower. Now, what's really cool is this signature style that Marco is going to show off here is just a great classic. It's just going to put on a style and put on rhythm preset. He's going to play on the upper and the lower. And notice when he plays on the upper and the lower, the harmony that's automatically put in there is absolutely gorgeous. And the style that he's going to feature here is a style in our pop category called Unforgotten for the Unforgettable Music of Nat King Cole. And as you know, Nat King Cole originally was a, a Nat King Cole trio. And um, through a weird circumstance, uh, uh, started singing songs. I won't share that story now, but if you don't know the story, t call me someday and I'll tell you. I heard it from somebody. But this is a gorgeous style, this signature style called Unforgotten. Forgotten for the unforgettable music of Nat King Cole. Take it away.
<laughs> wow. That was awesome. Woo. <laughs> so gorgeous, gorgeous. sounds that, right? Yeah. Nice amazing. if we can get other sounds to sound like Marco. Sure. <laughs> yes. I'll tell you how in a minute. But first, let me show off a couple other. We're not going to demonstrate them, but I'll tell you. You know, that style, when, he, when you do the intro one, uh, as many of you probably know, and if you don't know this, put this on your wish list if you don't have this. The intro ones and the twos. The one was always what was considered the signature style introduction on many of these styles. And if you didn't, you wanted to play another song and didn't want it, did, you know, like I Left My Heart in San Francisco, and you didn't want it to sound like Unforgettable when you started, you would put intro two, and you can do that for uh, a lot of the styles. So every one of the styles gets a second uh, variation, and they're about half the time in the introduction. Um, this was also the first time they introduced another rhythm preset, so everything doubled. I mean, the list just went on and on. But speaking of presets, Marco, I'm going to have you explain uh, this here in a minute, so be prepared because I, I just fell in love with some of these examples. As you know, category presets is a very, very powerful feature for our customers. It's like having recipes at our fingertips that you don't have to try to create on your own. And you just push a category preset and you get, in some cases, 10 great setups. Well, when the Prestige was introduced, it introduced, obviously, the ones you see there, of course, a whole bunch of new categories, harmony, organ, smooth flutes, percussion, sound effects, et cetera, et cetera. Well, Marco wanted to take it a step further. Earlier, you heard famous styles, 10 set setups for every one of those, Marco also has now famous sounds. Same concept, 10 presets for every category, uh, total 400 uh, of the best sounds that I've ever heard. So Marco, um, take it away, explain that, and show off a couple great examples. Yeah, so what I do is I take existing styles on the product, and then I tweak them. I change the instrumentation, I tweak the, the sound sample itself, and I learned all of this when I was involved several years back creating the new ST product. So I became really good with computer manipulating. So this is probably, this, this what you're hearing today is probably the most thought out software I've ever invented. And it's very simple, it's just names of people that made a difference in the world of music. And I feature that person as a stylist for that for their type of music. So I'd like to demonstrate one of my favorite ones. It's called Tap Dancer. And it's called, it's the, so the song of choice that I like to play, it's called T for Two. So I just water the screen and hit USB. You know, that's where they all live inside this little guy. And then I, I see the name Tap Dance. So I just put it on and then I just go through all 10 presets and here it's T for Two. Here we go.
So I don't, I don't know if you can tell, but all of those presets don't exist on this product. I made them from scratch and they're really incredibly well done to manipulate the style of music. Now another one, there's so many to show, but you know, we're very restricted with time. The other one that I like is the sound of the Harry James trumpet. And I know you're gonna say, well, yeah, I have that on my organ. Yes, you do, but you don't have this Harry James trumpet. Because I took what they have and remember, if you know what to do, I can change the attack, the delay, the tremolo, the sustain, everything on that product. And it takes a lifetime to be able to learn to do that. So all you have to do is put the preset for Harry James, put it on the organ, listen to this trumpet. That's awesome. <laughs> I gotta somehow bribe Marco to let me get those sounds so I can play them. <laughs> well, that is that is a fun, it's a phenomenal instrument, and what's even more phenomenal is the the presets that uh, Marco is showing. Let's see if I can pull this uh, right preview up here. Uh, let's see, it's this one here. Well, uh, let's see. Tell me if you're looking at the right things. Does it say 400 presets by Marco? Yeah. Yeah. So those, what you saw so far was uh, the 400. Uh, these are the fa what I call favorite, uh, famous styles. Right. And then you just heard some of the famous sounds. Right. Um, I think you really should show about another 15 of these. No. Okay. We can't. Okay. <laughs> restrict myself. Restrict myself. <laughs> but I get to play a little bit of music here, and I asked Marco earlier. Well, these all sound well and good, but problem is, is do they work in a another model? Well, the answer was yes and a no, it depends on the model. So I have here for me, in front of me here, let's see, shit spotlight here, where am I? Boop, oh, there I am. Um, I am sitting here on the beautiful Lowry Symphony and this Lowry Symphony is absolutely wonderful. So what's so great about the symphony, you ask? Well, let me see what it says here. Boop, 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 boop. Share. Where's my share? There it is. Am I on the right screen? Yes, Famous Sounds, Prestige Plus. So the Lowry Symphony was actually created as a limited edition model. And we, when we introduced it, we, we refer, referred to it as the best of the best. And why was it the best of the best? Because it had a lot of the best styles best presets and best sound system that was all designed on the flagship models. And they took, we took um, the styles from the Marquis, Grand Marquis, and Aria. Now, not all of them, but some of the best styles. So this is just a, a short list here. A lot of these great styles, signature styles, uh, real styles. Oh, wait, there's more, I guess. <clears throat> wow, there's more. Just the way you are. Gentle Mind, Mr. Shag, and then of course, Star Trek, Thing, Sweet Carolina, The Christmas Song, The Way We Were, and the list goes on and on. There were 35 styles that were taken from the flagship model. I'm gonna play the, actually, you know what? I'll play that very last one there, You Don't Know Me. In case you don't know me, I'm Robert Roman. <laughs> and 
this is great because this was actually taken off of the Lowry. Um, I'm going to use some music for this. And this was taken off of the Lowry Aria. And what's great about these styles is even though they're designed for a specific song, you can play other great songs with those. So I'll start with the song, You Don't Know Me. The name of the style is called You Don't Know Me. And then I'll go into another song that might work well with it. And it was so easy to use. play another style here and then we got Marco's got some other little tree oh look at where are those hearts coming from <laughs> how'd you guys do that do that magic. again it's magic do it's it again magic. can you do it again <laughs> yep look at that <laughs> oh <laughs> see you guys are pros at this I didn't know oh my wait 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 I got this good. thumbs up to, where'd it go Oh. Give it to me again, Gary. Yeah, yeah, thumbs up. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's my little <laughs> that's my little thing. So, you know, there's so many awesome styles. I'll play just a little a short snippet, and then we got some other cool things that Marco's gonna uh, show you. But it has an array of styles. Now we were talking about uh, Christmas songs earlier, and they introduced the style on here. Let's see. If I could find it, find it. 
I just got to know my alphabet, right? The. I think it's under the. Yes. Okay. So this style here is so cool because if you like to play slow standards and what have you, when you're not playing holiday and Christmas songs, you can play songs like, like this. cool, right? But that style is actually this style, since we mentioned Nat King Cole earlier. This is Nat King Cole's uh, arrangement of the Christmas song. And when you hear in the beginning, you hear these, those beautiful little strings. I call them the swooning strings. And at the very end, it has that classic Jingle Bell kind of guitar thing happening. Listen. You got to make that face when you do that. <laughs> okay, let's see what my slide says. I think we got some other cool things that Marco's going to share. I asked him to uh, share this with the world. So let's see. So all there's a lot of the great styles. Boy, I wish we had three hours. Um, what was cool about the symphony is it actually took all. It was the Sterling and Patriot uh, cabinet. And it took the new lighting system from it. We had the change on the MCS lights, the bench. Uh, some people forget this, but I'm still spoiled by it. But this, these benches are adjustable. And you turn the knob, and if you turn the knob one way, it goes up. And I think two inches down and two inches up. And it actually has all of the previous models built into it from the Prestige, Imperial, Stardust, all of the other models, the Sterling, the Patriot, uh, and the list goes on and on. So it's all wrapped up into one, plus all of the best of the best and the best. Now, you heard some wonderful styles. Oh, and obviously it has a great sound system. Can't forget that. This was the first time we introduced the virtual speakers concept. <clears throat> now, virtual speakers just means that there aren't additional speakers but it gives the illusion that there are. And you think about how technology evolved over the years, flat screen TVs that are really thin, you turn it up a little bit and it sounds like you get all the sound and it's like, how do they get all that sound out of there? Well, it's just by engineering the sound. And on the, on the symphony, there's no secret, it has the sound bar and it gives the illusion of giving this really nice high state of the art surround sound effect. So there's all sorts of cool things. Oops, let me save that. So now we have all these wonderful presets that are built into the instrument. Marco showed off um, some of the presets that he had. 
with the famous sounds, famous styles, but he wanted to take it a step further because if you're like me, I love that style that I just played, for example. I love the rhythm presets. I, I encourage using them, or you say use the category presets, use all these wonderful presets. But if you're like me, over time, you get kind of a little bit like, okay, I wish I had some new setups. Now, you can either create them yourselves, right? Your head's hesitating, some of you. And you'll get some great sounds that way, yes? They're looking at me like, you're nuts. <laughs> or you can ask a professional, create some sounds for some of the songs that I love to play, and I want them so that when I play them, I can sound like you, okay? Now, Marco, you've been doing this since, what, you're three years old? <laughs> so he's got a little skill set, to say the least. What Marco has done, especially in the last four years and, and just before that, is over time, he's always created these wonderful setups for songs that a lot of people love, these top hit songs, and he designed them in the way that when you use them, if you play the song and use the preset that he gives you, you can play whatever style you are and sound just like him. So I'm gonna turn it over to Marco and I'm gonna pull this up, Marco, as you are talking. I'm gonna pull up this uh, on the screen here. And let's see, where are you, where are you? I'll keep, to oh, there we go. So there's this. All right, so there's a sound bar. There we go. Marco Sound Like a Pro software. <clears throat> and you're going to see here 36 of Marco's arrangements with registration, songs, and sheet music. So, Marco, can you explain that? You want the list up there now? Okay. When all else fails, bring out the backup microphone. See, we're prepared, folks. Look at this. Live in action. Marco Mendez. Switching out the microphone. He can switch out a microphone just as good as he can play the organ. Hello, hello. There we are. Is it too yeah. loud? <laughs> yeah, we could hear you there. <laughs> Is it too loud? Uh, well, I don't know. You guys tell me. No, it's no, okay. No, Johnny says it's perfect. Okay. So You know it's never going to go 100% correct <laughs> the way we yeah, want. Well, I'm, I'm, thank God Robert was the one that told me, hey, bring an extra microphone just in case. So we did. So here's what, you know, I'm a, be, besides being a performer and besides going to school and probably besides anything else that I've ever done in my life, my first love has always been teaching people. And to the day I die, I will continue to do so. And I kind of invent things that are out of the ordinary. And this is incredible what I was able to put on. And it's not necessarily my idea. I work with different manufacturers. I've worked with Lowry, I work with Roland, I work with Yamaha, and they all have their little thing that they do. So what I wanted to share with you was a different way of learning. Most of the time when we learn a song, it's hard enough to try to do it all at the same time and play the right notes and play the right chords and change all the presets. So I've came up with a new technology and everything that I've done that you're gonna see here today, whether I play it all myself, there is a way that you can, we call follow me technology. And I got this from Yamaha. I'm not afraid to say it. And then I don't work for them, so I can do what I want with what they offer. And then I just create it in a different product. So I now can offer on this product, follow me technology. And what that, what that means, is that all you have to do is play the melody of the note, and then the organ will follow you as you play it properly or improperly. And then as a bonus, you'll have extra things that the organ will do to help you sound better. It'll do improvisation skill, it'll add uh, certain lines to the song. So I'm gonna pick a song, and if you, if you look at the music here that I'm looking at, I write it all out, well, I don't, but I, one of my team members do. and they're, Easy play music, you know, Georgia on my mind. And then those triangles depict or where you need to push the sound so you can change the registration. However, with this follow me technology, you don't have to do anything. You just play the melody, the organ will do it all. The organ will add background to it and will add extra things that you would never hear. 
it will change the preset for you. And then you can practice just the right hand. Whenever you're ready, you can start playing the chords. So it's not painful, and that's what I would try to always make sure that the experience is a real positive one. So let me share with you this song. And if you notice, I'm only going to play the right hand. And everything else will happen automatically, including extra improvisation that the organ will help me out. So here we go. I'm not sure if you could tell what was actually happening. What was actually happening, I was just practicing my right hand, and I wasn't doing any preset changes. I wasn't playing any chords at all. I was just reading the melody on the music and playing the right hand at the right time. I don't time. know why it came back on. Oh, yeah, it's great. Well, so yes. Keep it in the same relative position. I did it. Uh oh What's going on? Are you okay there, Robert? I got it. No. Okay. okay. Someone unmuted themselves. <laughs> so in that same fashion, we could pick something differently. And then let's try, for example, Love is Blue. That's a really hard song to learn. So I go to Love is Blue. It'll, it'll give me a custom introduction. And then I'll just play the melody. And it sounds absolutely unbelievable. So here is Love is, Love is Blue. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
So that that came off of let's see, let's see these. That's the first set. Of, yeah. Oh my goodness. Let's see what that looks like. Look at that. George on the mind or the love. And if they want to play the songs with both hands, you just load the presets. Of course, of course. And play them and follow the numbers that you have on the on the yeah, music. If you right? want me to do another example of the next the next set of, of songs, then I can do just that, you know. So I can just play everything, left hand, right hand, change the preset. But it's really, really well, very well fabricated. It's probably the most comprehensive. There's one called Jealousy on that list there. Jealousy, yeah. Let's see. We can do that, that one. You yeah, have it spelled it two different ways, though. Yeah, I know. Does that mean they're not as jealous? or? I think one is more jealous than the other one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's see. So you're going to load those setups. Yeah, and then so you're I gonna play go to, the song, okay? Right. So I go to USB and then I hit low presets, and then <laughs> we wait for the for the song to appear on the music. But Robert, you should pick one from the other, the other. The others? Oh well, because there's more, aren't there? Yeah, yeah. Well, show let's the, see here. Let show me see. the next 58. Those let's are even see better. here, because that was that was the sound like a pro. Yeah. Then this now there's sound plus. like a pro plus. Right. Right. Cool. And there's 58 more of Marco's arrangements and registrations. Right. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah. So a whole That's a lot of songs. Of, I don't know if you, you can fit them all in 15 minutes, Marco. No, I don't think we can. Just pick one for now. <laughs> <laughs> so um, there's so many things here that you, that, that you can have some fun. And if you notice, some of them in parentheses says advanced, meaning they're going to be a little bit more than what you're used to. So uh, more, 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 more busy work, more right hand things, more chords, and then sometimes I'll create one that's regular and advanced. For example, on Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy, there's an advanced version, and then there's a regular version. And then last year we lost a great person in in music, and he wrote a lot of songs, and you may see them in here. One's called Carefree Highway. Do you know who I'm speaking about? The other one, it's called "I'm Not Saying" and "Ribbon of Darkness." Do you know who? Do you know who this is? Robert, do you know who that is? I don't. Oh, well, someone has to guess. Someone, quick, Google it. <laughs> it's Gordon Gordon Lightfoot. Oh, really? Yeah. So there's a lot oh. of great stuff here that I did in honor of his passing last year in 2023. And they're really stuff that you could never find really in easy play music as far as uh, Hal Leonard stuff. The, the, some of the stuff that he did was quite intricate. So I had to take the time to make it so it would work in a, in a, in a format that you all can learn it. And then I even did an Autumn Leaves in a jazz version. So some of you that may be tired of playing the same Autumn Leaves the same way, this is just a little jazzy version of the, the you know the old traditional music. Robert, let me take a look there at the at, at that organ that you have there. I think I want to ask you a question real quick. Okay. Sp spotlight yourself. Oh wait, spotlight myself. Okay. Because I noticed. Now you're asking the cameraman to do a lot. Now you're gonna have to I pay know. me extra. So I okay. noticed that the backing on that organ is silver. Yeah. Is there is there a reason for that? Yes. Well, they, the, the, they changed the panel, uh, uh, the silver panel. They made it so it would be easier to see depending on the lighting, too. I see. So it's silver with black letters. Okay. And what I noticed, uh, I went to a student's house that had one of these ones. Yes. Um, and the, where it was at, at a certain part of the day, the sun came in and hit the panel. Okay. And what I noticed was you had to turn the lights off and it was very easy to read. Oh. And if it was dark, then you can turn the panel up. But with having the black print on the silver panel, there were a lot of things done cosmetically with this. In fact, yeah, I'm getting a little bit, you know, speaking of the word jealousy, I want to play one before you go to your next one. You know, okay. I, I, um, I tell a lot of people over the years, I have a lot of great ideas. I come up with a lot of great arrangements. I came up with a lot of ideas how I manage a store, how I train salespeople, how I learn to. I come, I actually, a lot of my jokes, I think I got a lot of great jokes. 
But you know what? All of that came from somewhere else. A lot of the jokes that I come up with, the ideas, I always, I'm really good at plagiarizing other people's ideas in this field. So when Marco started doing these, as you know, I started teaching a song called Song of the Month. Okay? And I basically stole his idea. And I didn't want to get any lawsuits from Marco. So on his music, when he puts a preset change, he puts a number with a triangle on it, I noticed. So I, I didn't want to get suits by Marco, so I put mine with circles. Okay? So an example, I'll play a little bit of this. Um, and, you know, a lot of, lot of the staff and the team members do this. So if, if I want to load these presets in here, I'm going to play Through the Eyes of Love, a theme from Ice Castles. And actually, I'll I use it on my now. iPad. Now, my iPad is not as big as yours, so, you know, if I make a mistake, that's the reason why. So I'll play one song here using my presets, and then I'm going to have Marco show off some of his stuff there, too. So here's Ice Castles. I'm just going to load it up, push A1, and use my presets. And then on this one, I even have an ending for it. So it's going to sound something like this. ideas that I actually stole from you, Marco. That's In fact, funny. I got to tell a little funny little story. <clears throat> and then I want you to show off some of your stuff there. It's pretty cool. Years ago when I met Marco, back in the 90s, <clears throat> do you remember the NT series, Marco? <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, back then, he'd have these wonderful concerts. He'd play, feet, pedals, and the whole thing. And at the very end of a song, what he'd do is he finished the last note, you know, with something big. He'd go, and then he'd take his feet and he would 
down here play, the t he put timpanis down here, and then he'd right. move them really fast. Like, well, the, it's off right now, but he'd go like this really fast to get the timpani effect. And I remember one time in a class he taught, oh, it's really easy, all you have to do is when you're on, uh, oh, see my audio equipment changed on me, okay. He said, it's really easy, all you have to do, um, you can still hear me? Yeah. Okay. You know, all you have to do is at the very end, just go and move your hand over, hold on and do this. I saw one try to do that once and they almost fell off the bench. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, not that easy. <laughs> well, then one of the models came out. They had a timpani here where they could do this. I said, that's a lot easier than going. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm oh, funny. Go on. Anyway, so I got that idea of using setups inspired by Marco uh, and I got some of those ideas from Marco but you know going back to your your sheet here Marco yeah you have let me just pull that up um, don't you say you have 58 great um song titles there yeah I'm, I'm Robert I'm gonna do a, a little uh tribute to Gordon Lightfoot okay 73 he wrote this song it's called Carefree Highway and even if you're not a, a Gordon Lightfoot, he was incredibly popular in Canada, of course, but here in the U.S. And this is a perfect example of why I'm able to do what I do with this product. Gordon had a very peculiar way of playing the guitar. And it kind of, they call him folk music. Yeah, cool. but the Lowry representation of folk style is not accurate. It's not the way Gordon Lightfoot would have done it or John Denver, they have very different type of thing. So this is a little bit more involved and you're gonna see me playing a lot more. So those of you who say, well, play, play, let me see what, let me see if you can actually play. Yes, I can play. So I'm gonna play more busy and then I want you to watch the guitar sound and all the ripping. So in the background, when I start, you're gonna get this in the background, which has been customized by me. So the first chord is an F and the organ just strums, you know? And you combine the right hand with very, very, very Gordon Lightfoot. So here is Carefree Highway with my registration and setup. Here we go. A great tribute to that him the man himself is called again 
carefree highway. So anything else, Robert? We're good? Yes, we got you got one more you have to play. So I'll give you time to figure that out. I think I know what it's going to be. Okay. Um, I say I think because I have a script I always put with Marco and I, and then sometimes he changes it along the way. <laughs> you what? want me to, which one do you want? Uh, well, I'll tell you in a minute, and then you can decide. Eh? But okay. I have a couple announcements to make. Um, what you saw today was uh, a little bit of the 400, what I call the famous styles. Right. You saw the famous sounds. And actually, he has instructions on how to load it. Yeah. Um, and actually, I might have put the wrong number. It's actually 410. And then there's the 36 arrangements of Sound Like a Pro. Right. And then there's Sound Like a Pro Plus, all the, all the other songs, 58 songs. But wait, there's more. You got a little bit of a taste of my song of the month. Uh, I stole that idea from Marco, and I have, there's actually six, five or six other songs that's not listed on here, and each of those has presets and recordings for those songs. There's other USBs that we've introduced out there in the world that are pretty cool. There's one called the Super Collection. Again, this is a, an idea stolen from Marco, and there are basically 10 setups for every style of music, and there are 161 different groups. <laughs> From wow. society to romantic fox to uh, George Shearing to romantic big band. And then we uh, had our staff members put together a song book. Boy, look at that handsome young man there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we had 20 songs that we recorded and put presets for. And last but not least, there is a virtual orchestra greatest hits that we did at one time that had 37 songs. And what does that all mean? Well, basically, here's what this looks like. This is gonna really shock you here. So there are um, Marco Mendez, famous sounds, there's 400 presets, famous styles, I forget, actually one of them has, the famous styles actually has 410. So that's a typo, but add 10. The 36 arrangements to sound like a pro plus, to sound like a pro with top hits. And then the super collection, the 1600 presets, Vine, that's 31 songs, 31 custom arrangements, 20 songs. Every one of these that says songs, that means there are recordings of those songs as well. And the virtual greatest hits. What you're seeing there is worth $3,990. That's a lot of great software there. Why is it worth that much? Well because the people behind it, and as you can see, Marco's uh, presets and his sounds and what have you, he doesn't just sit there and put a preset together. There's a lot of thought and effort of a, of a maestro and a child prodigy at work there. Well, today, folks, I'm gonna tell you, we feature the Prestige Plus and the Symphony for a reason, and be it that they are very limited models in stock, we are gonna actually offer this entire software catalog free with the purchase of a Prestige Plus or a Symphony. That is absolutely amazing. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. I don't have a Prestige Plus or a Symphony. I have a marquee or a grand marquee. Well, uh, if you are interested in this catalog, I'm just going to tell you to reach out to me personally because um, I know some of you have some of this, some of you don't. Uh, you might have one of the one of the packages, what have you. Reach out to me personally, you can call me or email me at rroman.fletchermusic.com and we can tell you uh, how to acquire that. But for those of you who do not have a USB drive organ or you've ever considered upgrading to a symphony or you've uh, considered um, uh, upgrading to a prestige or maybe one of your staff members said, you know, this prestige plus will be a great organ for you because it, it, they're super, super duper models. And we chose these two because to me, these seem to be some of the most influential models in the A technology world. Um, so reach out to your staff members. There are, there are limited uh, amount uh, availability in these instruments. Reach out to your staff members. Uh, your staff member may call you, um, but I think you're gonna be very impressed with 
the uh, proposals that they give you. And again, that entire catalog is free. Now, I am going to, just so you know, uh, this is only going to be available to uh, October 7th. Okay, so that gives you time. The entire catalog with the purchase gives you time to reach out to your staff members and find out more or while the instruments last. Okay, so with that said, I want to close off the event with a little more music by Marco and I want to hear some more of your Sound Like a Pro Plus, I think. I don't know what he's got up his sleeve. He says it's going to make me laugh. <laughs> well, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna already use, laughing. <laughs> I'm going to use one of the class songs to wrap things up for today. And ironically enough, the stem of the song is called That's All. So <laughs> <laughs> I figure you'll get a kick out of that. That's great. This is That's a really great. cool song. It's got some great jazz organ sounds, great harmony. It's one of my favorite songs to play, written, written in 1953. And it's a super duper song. If you haven't learned it, you should. So here is That's All. Big round of applause, big round of applause, Marco Mendez, and uh, me, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to say thank you so much. Thank you again so much, Marco, uh, for joining us. We hope you had a great time today. Um, and let's see. We hope you had a great time today. What I did not tell you is that if you already have an EX model, um, we are going to do a special package for you on that. So uh, reach out to me personally so I can uh, tell you that. Um, you know how to get a hold of me. Or you can email me and we have something I've worked out with Marco at Fletcher Music Centers to give you a really nice package. But if you don't have a USB organ, you have an SU series or one that doesn't have a, a, U, a USB at all, we have a really special package put together. And again, that's going to be included. And it's not the price is not uh, inflated to cover the cost. We put something really uh, special together. You know, this time of the year, we go into the fall. We like to do things for our club members. It's because of you we're here. <laughs> you know, without you buying product and buying things, we don't exist. And we can't thank you enough for all that you do. So all I'm going to ask is keep buying stuff, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. And we'll keep doing great things like this and bringing guys like that like Marco out. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna, again, thank you so much. And Mr. Marco Mendes, let me put you on the screen. Thank you for all that you do for Fletcher Music Centers. He is such, such, we are, we are so blessed to have a talent on our side there. So thank you so much. 
boy, the crowd is roaring for Marco Mendes, everybody. Oh. And, yeah, everybody have a great day. Thanks and, for being here. Hope you and enjoyed as I always fun. like to end, stay safe, keep playing music every day, and more, everybody. Thank you. I'll call you. All right, call me. If I, I don't answer, leave a message. Okay, Sounds really you. good. All right, I'll call you back. Okay. Bye. Love you guys. Thank you so much.